Now we will do look at some sentences. In every sentence, there is something called case, like nominative case for the subject. Then you have a objective case, there is an object and a possessive case. We will look at sentences in detail and study the case in each of this. So now first we will do the nominative. Nominative. What is the meaning of nominative case? And that is what we are going to do. Now, any noun, you know what is a noun? Any noun or a pronoun stands as a subject. Yeah? It stands as a subject of the verb. Then you say that is a nominative case. So, any noun or a pronoun that stands as a subject of the verb, we will say that is a nominative case. And there are three cases, nominative, objective and possessive. So, we will do all those three in detail. We are going to do case. Okay? So, any noun or pronoun, any, any noun or pronoun, any noun or pronoun that stands as the subject, that stands, that stands as the subject of the verb, as the subject, as the subject of the verb. Any noun or pronoun that stands as the subject of the verb is said to be in the nominative case subject of the verb is said to be to be in the nominative case in the nominative case okay That is what we are going to do now. What is this nominative case? We will do some sentences so that we can understand what it means. Now, just look at the sentences I am going to give you now. Mohan. Mohan married Kamla. Okay, another sentence. The cat, the cat killed. The cat killed the mouse. Another sentence for you. He bought a silver watch. He bought, he brought a silver watch. A silver watch. Another sentence. The ring. The ring was lost. The ring was lost by Sita. Now, we need to look at all the four sentences. First, Mohan married Kamla, the cat killed the mouse, he brought a silver watch, the ring was lost by Sita. We have four sentences here. Now, look at, we said any noun or pronoun that stands as the subject of the verb. Now, let us look at here, which is the subject of the verb here. Now, just look at the word Mohin. Mohin, cat, he, then the ring. 
look at these four words. The most important person is Mohan because he married Kamla. Who killed the mouse? The cat. Who brought the silver watch? He. Who lost? What did Sita lose? A ring. So, Mohan, the cat, he, the ring. All these, cat, Mohan, he and the ring are subjects of the verb. Which is the verb? Married, killed, bought, lost. So, these are Mohan, the subject of the verb married, the cat, subject of the verb killed, he, subject of the verb bought, and the ring, subject of the verb lost. So, in this case, Mohan, the cat, he, and the ring, they are all in the nominative case. Okay? So, they are said to be in the nominative case. So, married, killed, bought, and lost, respectively, they are verbs in this sentences. We will do more sentences so that we can understand better. Now, I will give you one or two sentences more for you to understand. Now, the policeman. The policeman. The policeman. Blew the whistle. Policeman blew the whistle. Now, here in this case, the policeman, that is the most important. And uh, so, it is the subject of the verb blue. The policeman is the subject of the verb blue. Therefore, we say the policeman is in the nominative case. Now, who blew the whistle? The policeman. Now, I will give you another sentence here. The guard. The guard. The guard waved the flag. The guard. You said any noun or pronoun. Mohan is a noun, he is the pronoun. That stands as the subject of the verb. It is said to be in the nominative case. Now, in this regard, the guard, the guard is supposed to be the subject of the verb waved. Who waved? The guard. Who whistled? The policeman. Who lost the ring? Sita. Who bought the watch? He. Who killed the mouse? Cat. Who married Kamala? So. The Mr. Mohan, the cat, he, the ring, the policeman, and the guard, all these are, are in the nominative case because they are the subject of the verb. They need someone to do the action. So that's the subject of the verb. So we say this is supposed to be in the nominative case. We will do more exercise for us to understand better. I will give you some more exercise. Now, pick out the nouns in the nominative case. Few sentences you are going to pick out. So, what we are going to do is pick out. Pick out the nouns in the nominative case. Pick out the nouns in the nominative case. That's what we are going to do. Okay? First one, Balu. Balu broke the slate. Then we have the bazaar was full of people. The bazaar was full of people.
Delhi stands. Delhi stands. On the Yamuna. On the Yamuna. Yamuna River. Next we have the earth moves around the sun. The earth. The earth moves around the sun. I met a blind beggar. I met a blind beggar. Milk, milk is the best food. Milk is the best food. Now, we are looking at any noun or pronoun that stands as the subject of the verb. And that's supposed to be, supposed to be in the nominative case. So, I have six sentences here. Pick out the nouns in the nominative case. Now, in the first we have Balu broke the slate. Now, which is the subject of the verb? First, let's look at the verb. You have broke, you have um, full, people full, then stands, then we have moves around, met, the best food. Now, Balu broke the slate. We are looking at nominative case. Any noun or pronoun that stands as the subject of the verb. Now, who broke the slate? Balu. So, Balu is supposed to be in the nominative case. Balu. Who broke the slate? Balu. So, next. The bazaar was full of people. What was full of people? The bazaar. So, the bazaar is supposed to be in the Nominative case. Now, what stands on the Amuna? Delhi. So, Delhi is in the nominative case. What moves around the sun? The earth. The earth. What moves around? The earth. The earth is supposed to be in the nominative case. I met. Who did? Who did I meet? I met a beggar. I am in the Nominative case is the best. What is the best food? Milk is the best food. Now remember, we are looking at subject. We are looking at the subject of the verb. First, identify the verb, which is the verb broke, full of people, here, yeah. stands, moves, men, me, and best food, whatever. Now, we are looking at these sentences. What are we trying to pick up? Pick out the nouns in the nominative case. What is nominative case? Any noun or pronoun that stands as the subject of the verb. We found the verb, which is the subject of the verb, Balu. So, Balu, the bazaar, Delhi, the earth, I and they are all nouns. They are all in the nominative case because they are all subjects of the verb.